Portia White was a Black woman artist uh, coming out of Nova Scotia in the 1940s. Her achievement was, was singular. How stunning and singular is genius undaunted. Vibrant, caring, discipline, of courage, very good humor. Afua, when you think of Portia White, what comes to mind? When I think of Portia White, what comes to my mind is a Canadian icon. First of all, she had this marvelous voice and this incredible musical talent and an ability to share that musical talent with others because she became the leader of the church choir by the age of 14 and was soloing little opera pieces at the age of eight. You know, obviously exceptional musical talent. George, how would you describe Portia White? Uh, in a nutshell, she was uh, the first formidable African-Canadian star of hall and stage in terms of being a world-renowned classically trained contralto. Everyone's sense, whether they know it or not, they are indebted to her. And I'm thinking of Drake, I'm thinking of The Weeknd, I'm, I'm thinking of Shad. If they are a singing or musical star in Canada right now, they owe a debt to my late great aunt. Boy, oh, my God. They don't know what it was like to be a female artist of African descent in the 1940s when no one had done what she did before. She had no crew of people around her to help manage things. She had to manage everything herself. She broke racial barriers, gender barriers in classical music. I mean, I think of her performing in certain spaces in North America and in Europe where Black people couldn't go and doing it with grace and doing it with courage. Many um, generations after her, certainly this current generation is, I would say, enjoying the fruits of her labor. transcend racism. When she did her concert tours in Nova Scotia, the halls were packed and of people of all colors, not white, not just black, but everybody. And they were jammed, a thousand people, 600 people coming into a hall to hear this very special woman do what she did best. And that shattered barriers. The Nova Scotia Talent Trust was founded in 1946 to assist with Portia's expenses as a touring uh, singing star. And that was the birth of the Nova Scotia Talent Trust Fund, which still exists today, has supported thousands of artists with monetary grants so that they can go on and, and do their art, and it's all in Portia's name. to be a recipient of the Portia White Award. What is the Portia White Award? The Portia White Award is a prize given by the province of Nova Scotia um, to honor a, a person with a large body of work, someone who has contributed greatly to the artistic and cultural life of the province. It happened during COVID, so the award ceremony was virtual. And then the the prize was delivered. Hey, 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 Afua! We're here to give you a special little prize, Afua. It's time to come out here and celebrate! Oh
it was a tremendous honor to receive the Portia White Award because Portia White is huge. She's, she's such a brilliant artist. And so I was very humbled to receive that award because it's the highest honor you can get from the province in terms of arts and culture. Remarkable stories from her music students who to this day remember her, remember what she taught them. So that's a pretty extraordinary thing after 40, 50, 60 years for people to remember someone like that. Even in terms of pop music, one of her pupils was Lauren Green, who was a star of a television Western in the 1960s and had a hit with a song called Ringo, and it was a major hit. Portia White's exemplary um, voice, both speaking and singing, is really um, something that, that we can hold dear to our hearts. Yes, well, she's the only artist ever to have played New York's Town Hall three times. Her passing was marked almost in the style of the passing of the Soviet leaders of, of yore with lots of black crepe and doomsday style headlines and, and, and lots of summaries of her, of her glorious career. I mean, before Oscar Peterson, she was the African Canadian star. She was courageous and that she had a vision and she had a dream and she followed that dream. She was a vibrant, large and living presence um, and she was just so special. Please.